I built a SaaS to $1,000 a month in revenue within 90 days, and here's how it happened. I will take you through how I came up with the idea, how I built it, and finally how I marketed it without spending a single dollar. Over the last five years, there has been a boom in young entrepreneurs starting online agencies to make money. To be honest, there's a 50-50 chance that if you're watching this video right now, you are one of those people who have started or thought of starting your own agency. If you did go through and start one, congrats, but you probably ended up like this guy. Why? Because you fell in the cold outreach trap. You see, spending hours sliding people's inboxes, DMs, or straight up calling them trying to sell your service with no return is horrible. It, it eats at you and makes you want to quit. In short, it's ass. And despite me having absolutely zero to none success, I did manage to get two clients off of the cold outreach and those are through Instagram DMs. Yup, I was sliding the DMs of business owners trying to be cool. And even though I spent hours probably sending thousands of DMs and only got two clients, I still realized that, hmm, this Instagram DMing thing I'm doing still got me some clients. Maybe if I send a little more DMs that I get even more clients. But I don't wanna spend hours doing this, so I decided to make a program to do this all for me. And I did. And it worked. I was literally sending 500 to 1,000 DMs every single day across multiple Instagram accounts without having to do anything. I just all I did was click a button and the program did the rest. And then I realized that I had this issue and this program solved it for me. My friends who are also agency owners had the same issue and the program solved it for them. So then I realized I should just make this into a full on SaaS. I've never done it before. Why not start? Now, before you say, whoa, Rotation, I think you rushed into this. What about product market fit, serving a thousand people, making sure that people actually pay for this? Well, before I even created my tool, there were two other mass Instagram messaging tools out there that had a large customer bases. And these tools are pretty subpar. They weren't even fully automated to begin with. And the DMs were sending at a very slow rate. I mean, to be honest, the only reason they had customers were because they were the only two tools out there. And I knew that my program, my tool will be fully automated, secure, and just better overall. So I partnered up with one of my friends and we built InstaDM, a mass Instagram messaging tool. And now here's the nitty gritty for the developers. We use Puppeteer.js, Node.js, and React to build it our entire stack. For authentication, we use Firebase, which looking back should have been Superbase, but it got the job done. And for the landing page, which I definitely want to redesign now, we use Webflow. Next time, we're definitely gonna be going with Framer. Release a beta version to the public and holy did I get fried. It was way too slow depending on if you were on Windows or Mac and people just didn't understand how to use it. I didn't create any onboarding videos beside one general tutorial and while we had about 10 beta users that were close friends or their friends, they were all simply taking turns railing me with what the f bro. But one beta user actually got a client off of the DMs he sent using this tool. So I knew that there was some potential. This tool wasn't a total failure. So I locked in with my buddy and we developed a super in-depth written guide as well as more demo YouTube videos walking people through our product. The beta users loved it, but there was still some confusion, but not nearly as much as before. You see, web automation and PubTurJS acting on a platform like Instagram can make things pretty challenging. So it took about 15 days of pure refining and testing to make our algorithm really work. And then we officially launched the software to the public and we had zero paying users. They're all on free trial. Yay, no money for us. But then remember the guy who got a client off of the tool? Well, he decided to pay us the $70 a month plan and he got another client off of it. And then something magical happened. He told his friend about it and his friend signed up to another $70 a month plan. And then I made a simple plug of the app and got two more paying users. And from that point in mid 2024 to literally now, I have barely talked about the SaaS, yet the Discord stands at 426 users. We made five figures in revenue in 2024 with an investment of $1,500. And honestly, the sole form of marketing has been word of mouth. Yes, every meeting I have with a potential customer, I ask them, where on earth did you hear about instant DM since I'm not really marketing this product as much as I should. And they all say the same thing. A friend told me about it. And it surprised me every time because it just shows how good the product really is. Like I've genuinely spent zero dollars on paid ads. I actually think this is the first YouTube video on this entire channel where I really showcase the SaaS in depth. And this is what people don't realize. The number one reason word of mouth is the best form of marketing is because it shows that your SaaS is actually good. Like people actually like it. It's not just a product that you're marketing and when someone gets it, they're like, yo, this product sucks. No, if they're telling their friends about it, they must love your product. On top of that, there's a psychological factor. Hearing from a friend to use a software or a tool is way better, makes you more likely to get the tool than seeing an ad of it on TikTok. Because you're like, eh, probably a scam. Moving forward, I'm going to be using YouTube and other forms of socials to push this product, maybe partner with other influencers, and hopefully one day it will get acquired. This is my SaaS journey, but now comment down yours. I want to hear it.